What's up guys? It's Sydney and this is your 30 minute upper body sculpt workout. So grab your dumbbells and let's get started. What's up guys? Welcome to your upper body workout today. I'm so excited to rock into this 30 minute workout with you. We're gonna be working pretty much the whole time with chest, back, not much shoulders because I know we really rocked those yesterday, so chest, back, biceps, and triceps for the main focus today. Okay, we'll be grouping up muscles, heavier weights, and then lighter weights, supersetting those two for the same muscle group, so we're again working on our muscular endurance. Okay, so make sure you have a couple options as far as dumbbells. I'm gonna stick probably between the eight and the 30 pound dumbbells today. Eight being for things like chest fly, back fly, supermen, and then 30 being for things like rows and chest press. So we'll have two, uh, two exercises at a time so you can kind of superset a lighter and a heavier, all right? Make sure before we get started today, you have clicked subscribe right below this video, and if you are ready, we're gonna hop right into it. All right, let's get into your warm up. Nice wide stance. I want you to take that left arm, I almost always say right, left arm up over your head, and you're gonna reach and circle back around. Okay, let's start with the shoulder. Three, two, one, let's go. Great job. I've got my bench out here today. I'm gonna be using it for chest press. All right, go ahead and switch. And then also for just a stabilizer location for my bent rows. Okay, feel free to grab yours if you have one, but if you don't, no problem. Come back to the middle, open and cross. Great job. And make sure you're reaching across with a big stretch in your back. Good, let's go backwards circles with that left arm. So our first muscle group that we'll be working is the back. We're gonna start off with switch directions, bent rows and back flies. Okay, so we'll go 45 seconds bent row. Go ahead and switch arms, big backward circles. 45 seconds bent row, 45 seconds back fly. Two rounds of that. Okay, switch directions. Good work, so your 15 seconds will basically be for transition, shoot it back and up. There we go. Very excited to be here with you today. We're gonna keep the heart rate up. We're gonna work hard together, pushing ourselves, pushing through the burn. All right, pull your fingers back, just stretch your forearms out a little bit. Good. 45 seconds we start first with bent rows. I'm gonna ask you to go one arm at a time here. Okay, so in 12 seconds, let's start with the left arm. Okay, you can either go here on your leg or on a bench right here, okay? All right, let's go in three, two, one, let's go. Big pull back. There we go. So we'll stay here for 45 to 50 seconds. Just think about however much time you need to switch into your back fly. That's all the rest I want you to take here. I want you to stay working with those back muscles. Good, driving your elbow back towards your tailbone, so make sure it's not coming up into your armpit. Taking that backwards angle, thinking about your shoulder blade coming in towards the middle of your spine. Neck stays neutral, shoulder stays relaxed, so don't get up here. There you go, good. Let's go four more seconds. Three, two, one. All right, back fly. I'm going down to my eight, okay? Right here, hinge, squeeze back. All right, two, one, let's go. Same thing here, don't lift your shoulders and then go. Keep them down. You drive those shoulder blades back to meet in the middle of your spine. Arms are nice and long. And we stay here for 45 to 50 seconds. Just enough time to switch back over to your bent row. And we'll row with the right arm on that last round. Now, if you don't have dumbbells that are super heavy right now, I want you to just take those bent rows and go with both arms. So you get kind of double the reps. 
Keep your core tight. Good. Let's go four, three, two, one. Good job. And we're swinging right back over to the bent row, right arm, okay? Grab your dumbbell and let's go. There you go, neutral spine. Driving your arm back to get into a 90 degree angle right here. Shoulder blade comes squeezed, okay? Just like to make sure you're engaging those muscles. Good work. Think about your hand as a little hook for your dumbbell so you don't have to be squeezing the crap out of your dumbbell. Just hook and pull. Good job. 13 seconds. Five. Two, one, good. And we take that last round of back flies and then we're moving on to chest press, okay? Three, two, one, let's get it. There you go, some muscular endurance. So we work and we ask our muscles to work for a longer time. Keep in mind, as you're asking your muscles to work, you have to work on your technique and your core. So our back muscles working, working, working. You can't forget about keeping this posture. So don't get here, don't get here, okay? Keep that form great. Stabilize everything else. Great job. Good, let's go five more seconds and then I want you to get ready for chest press. Two, one, all right. Chest press, laying flat on the ground or on the bench. Okay, I'm gonna go for my 25s for round number one. Okay, so as soon as you grab your weights, lay it down and let's go. And you can probably guess from here, we're gonna go into a chest fly after this one. So pretty much four straight minutes of back. We just finished four straight minutes of chest. That's it. And this doesn't have to be the heaviest weight that you ever used, although I always want you to challenge yourself. It's more of move the weight with great form for a longer amount of time. Okay, four, three, two, one, and chest fly is our next one. I'm gonna grab my tens. Okay, and laying it down and you're opening up nice and long arms. Two, one, let's go. And I encourage you to stay around your rib cage. Okay, rounded arms, wrists are out past your elbows, so make sure you're not coming down 90 degrees here. Okay, nice long arms like you're about to hug 17 people at once. Big reach out and then squeeze them all in. Good, right before you get to right above your shoulders, open it back up. There you go, 14 seconds. Good. Two, one, and rest, and we're back up to chest press, last round. All right, I'm just gonna keep you working. So if you're ready, go right into it. Two, one, here we go. Relax your hands, you don't need to be squeezing the dumbbells here either. Just think about raising the roof from your chest. Good job. Someone called me out before, they notice when it starts getting tough, I start wiggling my feet or moving my feet around on chest press. Very true. Start tapping. Whatever you gotta do, just keep rocking for 15 more seconds with me.
five, four, three, two, one. Back to chest fly, last round. When you're ready, grab it and go. Two, one, let's get it. Good. And we'll go all the way until we get to 20, 15 here. Okay, after this we start our tricep circuit. So we'll go into tricep overhead extension. Let's focus here on keeping that dumbbell moving. Here we go. Open, pull it in, reach out, hug all the people, bring them in together. I think that's a good, it's a metaphor we all need right now, right? Reach out, hug a lot of people, let's bring them all in together. Seven, six, two, one. Great job, your next move. Triceps, you're here. Overhead, bend, extend. All right, seven seconds. I'm gonna use my 25. You can stand or sit. Okay, three, two, one. Let's get it. And you can kind of move your head out of the way a little bit. Triceps are gonna burn fast, okay? So pace yourself here with a challenging weight. If you have to move down on round two, totally fine. But we've gotta push ourselves as much as we can right now. Good job. That's it, five, four, two, one, good. All right, I'm gonna move down to my tens, gonna challenge myself, tricep kickbacks. Okay, both arms. Tens, eights, somewhere right in there, control is the name of the game. Three, two, one, let's go. Squeeze and bend. Just think, straighten your arms, bend your arms. Good job, wrists stay strong. Keep in mind, you don't need to get back here and flex your wrists, okay? Just keep it right here. Keep it neutral. That's it, come on, 20 seconds. Control that lower as well. That's an opportunity for more work. You're like, what? I know, but. If we can strengthen your triceps in both eccentric and concentric ways, you're gonna be a lot more firm, toned in your arms. Two, one, rest. All right, last round, overhead extension. You can sit, you can stand. Let's go, two, one. There you go. And if you can't get this to feel kind of correct for your elbows, I challenge you to go two hands, just like this. Okay, so keeping it here. All right, some people just, doesn't feel good for their elbows or their lats are really tight, so it just feels uncomfortable. Both options, you can, whatever grip you wanna do, bent arm, just get it back to straight. Good work, eight, seven, there goes my feet again. <laughs> Starting to tap, three, two, one, rest. Last round of kickbacks. Whew. All right, I'm gonna go with my eights on this one just so I can make sure form stays great. Last round, ready, let's go. There we go. Good, make sure you're not diving into it here. Make sure you're not swinging way up and way back. Okay, we don't need this big semicircle. We go up bent arms, 90 degrees, straighten, return to 90. There you go. That way you're not using momentum. Good, 10 more seconds, come on. Push those pinkies high. Up, 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 don't slow down. Four, three, come on, two, one, and rest. 
Amazing work. We're going into the biceps and we're starting with hammer curls. All right, I'm gonna start with my 20s. Whew. All right, here we go. Five seconds, you go left, you go right. Right here, two, one, let's go. Beautiful. And it's okay to look over at your arm. Make sure the form is good. No one's judging you. You can look at those strong muscles. And a lot of times it just helps to make sure your elbow isn't scooping, okay? Very easy to get your elbow out to the side and just get this dumbbell here. I want you to keep your elbow pointing to the ground. 10 more seconds and I'll show you what to do next for your hinged curl pulses. Three, two, one. I'm gonna use my 10 pound dumbbells. Hinge over, okay, whoops. Make sure my weights match up. Hinge forward, open up your palms right here. Okay, two, one, let's go. Straight, bend to your chest. Good, and make sure you're not rowing. Keep your back muscles relaxed. You're shooting your elbows back and open. Good work, come on. Keep that back nice and flat too. Good work. Good, almost there, come on, eight, seven. Get ready to go back to hammer curls. Four, three, two, one. All right, hammer curls. Can you go up any? We're doing alternating, so if that's an option, let's do it. I'm gonna go up one to my 25s. Three, two, one, let's go. If you go heavier, don't think you have to go faster, or don't think you have to go at the same pace as the lighter weight. Close your eyes if you need to. <laughs> Go to that happy place. <sighs> come on, come on. This is me talking myself through this as well. Come on. <sighs> breathe. Same thing. I need to breathe. <laughs> Good, 10 more seconds, come on. <sighs> Four. Three, and rest. Good, last round, curl pulses. Taking your chest, or your hands going right to your chest. Ready? Let's go. Good work. <laughs> this is burning, but we've got it. Come on. Just in case it looks like I've got it all together. I feel like my biceps are trying to jump out of my arms right now. Here we go. 15. Good work. Come on. Four, three, two, one. And rest, go ahead and grab some water. Whew. Give those arms a little breather. All right, I'm just gonna leave all these out here. Next move we have two rounds of the same move. Power row from the floor. I'm gonna grab my 30, okay, just to add to the beautiful collection out here. We're gonna start here, okay. You're gonna pull right past your ribs. So we go floor, flat back, pull, put it down. Okay, let's start with that left arm first in seven seconds, okay, you ready? All right, here we go. Two, one, legs are a little bit bent, weight is in your heel, pull back, put it down. Good. There 
Here we go. Now make sure when you come up, you're not opening your chest. Keep it flat, drive, squeeze. We're going all the way to one minute here, so we're going to 10.30, and you just switch right over. Power move, so I wanna keep you focused. Good work, come on. 15 more seconds. Keep your spine strong. Good, 10, nine, four, three, two, one. Put it down, switch right over. Okay, other arm, don't even breathe. Or yes, breathe, don't break. Just go right into it. Yes, breathe, definitely breathe. One minute here. Good. I'm with you. Strong spine. Good work. Got about 20 seconds left. Beautiful. Let's go, let's go. 12. Four, one more. Three, two, and rest. Beautiful job. We're gonna tempo this heavy move out with a slow bicep curl. Okay, take your, I'm gonna go 15. Just in the left hand, okay? Slow curl just in the left hand. Ready? Here we go. Three seconds down, three seconds up. Same thing here, one minute. Just control the tempo. Basically try not to let this relax the whole minute. Endurance, baby. This is tough for me. Mentally tough for everyone, right? 30 more seconds here. It's tougher to sit in a slow burn than I think it is to push through quick, powerful, sweaty moves, right? Still sweating as always, but keep that tension. Don't relax it. 15 seconds, you switch right over. Five, four, come on, three, two, one, flip it right over, don't stop. Breathe and go. Don't break, breathe. Good. Try to avoid the urge to dive your shoulder into it. Okay, I just felt myself do that. That's why I say it. Beautiful. Open it up. Think, show your palm to the front. Bring your palm back to your face. Come on. 15 seconds. Eight, seven, four, three, two, one, and rest. Whew. All right, front raise supinated and pronated to the side. I'm gonna take my lightest dumbbells, okay? I'm going out rounded arms, side, middle, flip, down, okay? Ready, let's go. Lift it out to the middle, flip, come down. Great work. Here we go. A little bit of shoulder here, right? A little bit of rear delt, interior delt, and a little bit of bicep and chest here on the way down. Good. 
Good. Eight, seven, six, five, three, two, one. Rest here for 15. Same thing, we're just gonna switch that side and pronation. So you're gonna go out supinated, come in, pronated. Okay, palms up, middle, palms down. Let's go. And this pulls into the chest a little bit more again. So we're here, flip, come in. Keep your elbows rounded, okay? Make sure you're not depending on your joints. Good, get to the middle, squeeze your chest together here, lower. Good job. Good work. Good, you're almost there, come on. That's it, that's it. 15 more seconds. Eight, seven, come on. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we're gonna go skull crusher and chest press pulse, okay? I'm gonna bring my bench back in. You don't have to though, okay? We've got 90 seconds of this one. Okay, so watch me. I'm gonna hold my 25 pound dumbbell here by my chest, okay? I go two skull crushers, okay? Two chest press pulses. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go, shift it back, bend. And bend, pulse it out, pulse, pulse. Good, 90 seconds here, it's totally fine if you're shaking right now. Push through that shake. And I still want you to get that point at each move, you lock out, okay? Press, extend, press, extend. On the chest press, at the extension, squeeze your wrists together so you really activate that chest. Beautiful job. We started at 4.15 and we've got 90 seconds, so that takes us to 2.45. We're looking for 2.45 on the clock. And we're hitting so many moves here, so many muscles here. Triceps, shoulders, chest. Great work, come on. Push through this burn. Beautiful, 15 seconds, come on. Two, one, and great job. Move the heavy dumbbell out of the way. You've got a plank. Tricep kickback for the last one. I'm gonna grab my eights, okay? I'm down here on the floor. Here, kick it back, okay? Two, one, let's go. Up, kick, back to the ground. Modification on your knees. Up, kick back to the ground. We've got one minute right here, and that's it. This is it. We're looking for 130 on the clock. Beautiful job. Last 30 seconds, you add a push up here. Kick left, kick right, and push up. This is it, right here, come on. Two kickbacks and a push up, 20 seconds. Come on, come on. Ten, nine. Come on, go, 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 don't stop yet. Four, three, two, one, and drop down to your knees. Shift it back. No sick jokes today. You, you've made it to your cool down. I was thinking about doing, oh, we have one more minute of push-ups. I'm just not gonna be cruel to you like that today. <laughs> so you have made it to your cool down, guys. Great work, reach your arms out front. 
put the edges of your hand on the ground. Push your chest down. Let's really stretch those lats out. Thumbs facing the air. Another option for this would be on a bench. Okay, if you've got an option here. Great job today. Good, take your arms way out wide. Okay, shoot your elbows out to the side and let's push the chest down to the floor. Look up. Good. Come back in seated position. Cross your arms over your chest. If you can move them, I feel like my arms are 100 pounds right now. Amazing work today. Whew. All right, slowly come on up. Let's stretch the triceps out a little bit. Left arm over top, bend. Okay, and then I want you to pull here. And if you can, push that forearm closer to your arm with your thumb. Okay, here we go. One more over here as the clock rolls out to zero. Go ahead and switch your arm. And I'm so proud of you today. There's so many ways in which you can show strength. Today was definitely one of those days where I challenged you to show it the whole time, okay? And that my mission is not to make you feel exhausted, tired, weak, shaky. My mission is to show you that you are strong. Sometimes it's hard for us to believe anything positive about ourselves. And here, if you spend time with me, I'm gonna make it my mission to make sure that changes. So I hope today and I hope any workout makes you feel capable, makes you feel strong, and even in the moments where you think, I can't go on, that's because you pushed yourself to that point. It's not because you're just hanging out, taking it easy, right? If that were the case, every workout would be a breeze. You get to that point where it's tough because you've challenged yourself to get to that point. And from there, all that's left is progress. All that's left is growth. All that's left is room for you to get stronger. In fitness, yeah, you guessed it, and in life. So make sure you're pushing yourself to those boundaries and then taking that next step over because your new self, that self that's already stronger, that's already ready for you, is waiting for you to step up to the plate. It's, it's waiting for you a year from now in the future to not give up on yourself right now so you can see that next best version of you. I know it sounds crazy, I know it sounds like, yeah, yeah, we get it, Sydney, you're our trainer, but really, if you look a year from now and you see a year's worth of progress in yourself, imagine your goals having been accomplished. Imagine you, reaching your goals, that person is waiting for you to step it up right here today. And each day, little tiny steps every day add up to that big transformation, okay? So I'm very proud of you. Be ready to become that next best version of yourself. You've gotta do the things each day that it takes to get there and have patience and persistence, okay? I'm so very proud of you today. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up when you're finished. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so we can keep growing together. I love you guys and I appreciate you letting me be your personal trainer wherever you are. I appreciate you rocking with your teammates all over the world right now. We finished together and we're stronger for it. So proud of you. I'll see you back here tomorrow, guys. Bye.